Ooh, what's up guys, of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours through, of course, the Skyrender, and well, we are back to the post-commentator battle for, for at least a few days. I have been trying to, you know, get the time to do these because I know you guys prefer these videos, and honestly, I, I love making them because they are much more, well, it takes some time for me, which means that, you know, I, I get to sit down and really, really look at myself, and uh, yeah, that sounded like I was a complete obsessed with myself. But I mean, I get to see, you know, my thought process and really, really don't get down to it. So, basically what I want to say is, I'm back. And yeah, today we're going up against Pipo or Pipozale. And this is a mixed RU battle, but it is RU inbound with a few NU in it. And basically, he has quite a formidable team here with both Exploit, Rape, Beyond, Steelix, Hitmonchan, and Meganium. Of course, the gel isn't. And basically, my Ninja has got my team here and Mantine, Golurk, Tangrove. Right, Furrier and Typlosion. My Ninjask and Typlosion are the one Pokemon that are really, really able to break his team. So I need to keep them abound. The only thing threatening my Ninjask is Steelix, so I need that out of the way. I can't afford having a rock on my side. Mantine is my defogger if it comes to that, but it's not something I will heavily rely on. At the same time, I don't have any Pokemon that can set up hazards on him. Which means that I really need to dent his team with, uh, with the surprise factor of my team. So Tablosion with Solar Beam is going to be important against the Jellicent. And basically x is going to be able to do a lot of damage on the whole team. So I'm just going to try to fend it off. So with all this in mind, let's go. So from the start, I really knew that Ninjas was my go-to Pokemon in this battle. It was just... It outspeeds everything, hits everything. And he's going to start off with Mr. Pringles, the Jellicent. And I didn't really want to predict him going for a Will-O-Wisp. Uh, I did predict it, but I didn't want to risk doing that because that will destroy my type lotion. So I go into my man time, which is my second best bet of going in uh, into this Pokemon. And sadly, it does go for the Will-O-Wisp. But even if I had type lotion against this Pokemon, there was really no way for me of actually hurting it with a Solar Beam. There's no way I would have taken that out. And I kind of knew that. So I'm going to go for Toxic Care here just to stay in against the man time, which of course is great. I need to will this thing down. It's only real power against me is actually the oh what do you call it the oh man I'm like standing. It only has the hex as a possibility of attacking me. And besides that, um, the thing that's going my way here is that recover is used with this thing's packs, which means that toxic will will down in the long run. And I'm basically just hoping for flinches here, basically trying to force him to stay in so Toxic does as much damage as it can. Uh, basically I'm firing off Salgo here, and uh, I know it sounds strange I'm really doing this early on, but at the same time I knew that this is the Pokemon that's going to give me the most problem um, against my type Lucian. So I really needed everything to just work really, so I'm gonna switch out Salgo now because, well, I felt that, you know, I am in the range, I'm hoping for a Hex, but he's actually gonna switch out on me, which I did not expect, to be honest, to his Pion Draggy, which is Brave Beyond, and uh, he's gonna set up a sports stance here. I went for an EQ because I just really, really thought, you know, this is my honest chance of doing some damage. It is a sweeper set, which means his EQ will do a lot more, and I'm predicting cross poison coming out, and I really didn't feel comfortable second off my Tangrowth like that, so I'm gonna second off Mantine. So he's free to go for self procs, which is Steelix, which is extremely unfortunate, but at the same time, you know, I can kind of cope with that. I really, the only way for me of actually forcing in the Steelix is to bring in Ninjask, you turn out, so I know that the Steelix is coming in, and then get the matchup I want, which is actually my type lotion against it. So that is my main idea, like, the second he comes in with Steelix and Ninjask is not inbound, it's the second he'll get up the stealth procs, and I really knew that, so... I was just doing everything in my power to pull this off. So he's gonna go into the Pion Draggy, and I just gonna go for Ruption. I mean, I need the damage, obviously. And uh, basically, I was really hoping here, due to him having his uh, um, Jellies in the low HP that he will brought that uh, trying to win does against me, but no, he's gonna bring the Hitmonchan and not really wanna risk the potential Mag Punch. I actually escaped and go into Optimus Prime. And yeah, Optimus is not really that viable this battle, sadly. He does do, he has a very extensive power with, you know, the Drain Punch and Ice Punch and whatnot. But he is walled out by a lot of his Pokemons and uh, Steelix and Meganium is definitely the walls that go going to hinder every, anything from working really. So he's going to go for Leech Seed here, which is not a bad move. And I went for an Ice Punch and sadly I do score a crit. 
but it is not enough to take it out. He lives with one HP, as I said on the chat, and um, fearing that he could potentially recover uh, or synthesize or even protect me and you know stall me out, I decided to you know, do a hard switch, bring the Jade yet again, forcing in the Steelix, and basically get a free eruption. I don't fear them again as much. Uh, it definitely is um, a Pokemon that can take a lot of hits, but it can't really do too much against my Ninjas. So as you guys know, Ninjas is my go-to Pokemon if I want to win. But he actually bring in Mr. Pringles, which is I, I really didn't want this. Um, really felt that this situation is uh, kind of tough, but I really needed him to feel safe trying to take an eruption. I really felt that. That is the only way I can stop him. And he not predicting the of course the solar beam. And he just in, and this is great of course, because this solar beam in the range of HP is in and there is no way he's gonna take this. And uh, now of course I showcase that I'm not scarfed, which is something he is gonna utilize because now he knows that his X Cloud, which is scarf, is gonna be able to outspeed and well. Joke's on me, because I did go for Eruption, which of course will do nothing here. And that is, well, that, that's bad. That's really bad. And I decided to sack off my Optimus Prime, which actually will take this Boom Burst quite well, due to him being Scarfed and not Specs. Which is something I should have thought about, because he actually takes this a bit too well. I was really surprised. And I didn't really, really want to go for an EQ. I just went for super effective damage. I mean, that was my only real move I had. And I knew Ice Punch was kind of obvious here, but at the same time, I have no real switch into this. I just need to sack off my, sadly, my Optimus Prime, which did a good job taking that Boom Burst. I'll definitely keep that in mind in the future that um, that Golurk actually is able to take those kind of hits. So anyway, I'm just going to go for U-turn here. Like I said, forcing out the Steelix. I really need the Steelix come in and then get a free hit with my Type Lotion. That is my only strategy. And... Um, yeah, I'm really glad the Stealth Rock isn't up, because that would have destroyed those two. Uh, so they're really working good together of keeping the opponent at a distance. I'm gonna go for Lava Bloom this time instead, because of, well, the potential burn is something I really, really want to try to rely on, and uh, yeah, not now, not happening. And I decided to actually sack off the Zarlax, which is a Tangrove. It's not gonna do anything this battle anymore. There were potential... Pokemon that he could defeat is, uh, well, they're dead. And he gets the freeze here, which obviously doesn't matter since Ice Beam is a 2 hit KO. And yeah, that's fine. It really is. Like I said, the only Pokemon it really walled out was the Brave Beyond and um, Jellicent. And obviously, them being out of the way means that you know, I have an honest chance of coming in and really hurt something else instead. So I'm gonna go to Desultroya and basically gonna go for my choice Banded Earthquake because. I was figuring I could go for Rock Blast, but then again, if I went for Rock Blast and he brought his Steelix, then, you know, I would be in, in a very, very unfavorable position. And fearing that he has a Giga Rain, I'm going to go back yet again into Jade, of course, and um, he's going to go for his synthesis, actually trying to stall me out with recovery, which is not that bad of a move since it's actually recovering more than I was able to do damage on him, which basically would have forced me to switch out eventually anyway, but uh, yeah. Also, look at Ninjask. Due to me speeding up, it wings kind of, wings frame kind of lo locks itself. It looks really, really silly. <laughs> so anyway, uh, he's gonna bring the Hitman Chan. I know this Troy can go one on one against this thing. There is no way of me really fearing it. And uh, I'm gonna persist going for EQ because um, it is my best move, really. And besides that, like I said, I really, really don't want. Um, Steelix to have an honest opportunity of coming in and uh, taking those hits because it's quad resisted. So in a way, Meganim is going to come back on here and, um, well, my Ninjas can still wall this thing really well and um, he has actually yet to predict me with this Ninja switching. He can actually hard switch to his uh, Steelix here, which would have maybe destroyed me actually, but uh, yeah, we're not really there yet. So Heavy Metal is coming in here. And I'm yet again gonna go for U-turn, and um, I think now we're in a position where he really feels that you no, know, there are not a lot of options left in his team. My team is definitely getting wheeled down, but so is he. So I'm gonna bring Alvesta for one more round, and he is actually gonna decide to stay now, trying, trying to take this lava plume. And I'll definitely done the same play, but sadly, 
Typlosion is just as strong and Steelix is gonna fall. Which means that, um, yeah, there is nothing stopping Ninjas now. So he's gonna bring Janus. And uh, of course, the Boom Burst is inbound, hurting a lot, you know, really shattering the void of itself. And Alvesta is going to go down. So thank you, Typlosion, for this. And the Jade is now freely to go in because there is no Scarfer in NU or RU that can outspeed his Pokemon. So Choice Bandit Ninjask really showing his brawn and take out them. Um, very very powerful Scarf to explode and his last Pokemon is the Meganium and Meganium can't do anything against the Ninjask who is now hovering with them. Um, I really like the like, wind span on this. It looks really silly. So a crit kick at rain did roughly one eighth of HP. So that is how powerful a quad resistant it is. So we're just gonna finish this one battle with, of course, the air lays, which will annihilate the Meganium. So Piper Cell, this was definitely a good game, man. I really think you did a good job. You know, keeping me at a distance, and. Um, it basically came down to whether or not the Steelix was gonna survive the onslaught of the Type Lotion setup. And um, yeah, it did end in my favor, but it might as well have ended in your favor if you had predicted me. So, definitely good game, man. Definitely. So yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this, of course. And if you did, yeah, make sure to leave a like. Uh, this is like a repeat for me. I've seen the same thing every time. But really, you know, this is like... I think I really, really, I burn for this, uh, definitely like doing these uploads and talking to you guys. And I don't know how many of you guys you know stick to the end, but if you do, write boobs on uh, the comment section so I know at least how many of you guys are. And besides that, um, I'm actually thinking of streaming tomorrow early. I am off work tomorrow and um, basically I feel that I really, like I said in my previous videos, I do want to uh, stream more often and see if that helps me out reach out really and I'm working with some graphics and hoping that things can kind of work itself out uh, I definitely need a better computer but um, you know I I'll figure it out um, I'm a rich man right no <laughs> but uh, you know I'll try to get some more equipment and see if I actually can get a better CPU for photographics engines that definitely aren't really working that well on the computers I'm using or I could use this computer which I record my battles in but this is more of a working computer, so I don't know. But, you know, I'll figure it out, guys. Um, anyway, I want to thank you, of course, for watching. And don't forget to leave a like if you new to the channel. What's up? And remember, guys, the sky is well the limit, guys. Have a good day and take care, alright? Bye.